hatch composition options. So when we go and create a hatch, by default, over in my options, I have associative is on. Associative automatically updates when the borders change. So I'm going to come in here and create pick on a pattern here. And I'll put, put the pattern in. And it's an associative pattern right now. So when I grab a hold of, say, two of these lines and I change, the pattern automatically updates. Okay? So when it's associative, it's tied to the boundary and the boundary automatically updates. Now, let's take this out. And now let's go and put one in that's non-associative. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to place a boundary in, or a, a hatch pattern in here. So I'll put a pattern in. I'll put the same hatch in. And boom. I'll close the hatch pattern. And now I'm going to grab a hold of both lines. Grab it by this grip. Change it. And you see now... The hatch pattern does not update. It's not associative. So um, it's much better to always create associative hatch. Always, always, always create associative hatch here. Um, you'll find that is a lot better to work with. So in your options dialog box, you want to use associative. We have one more thing in that associative dialog box that we should take a look at. When we make a hatch in two separate areas, so I'll come up and create a hatch, and I'm going to go in and go with pattern again, and I'll pick over here, and I'll pick over here, and I'll close my hatch pattern. This is considered one hatch pattern. Even though they're in two separate spots, there's one single hatch pattern. So I'm going to delete that. If I want separate hatches, I want to go up and, and go in here, and I'll go back to my pattern again. And over my options, I can say create separate hatches. And when I have that turned on, now when I pick one, and I pick two, and I hit enter these are separate hatches now so in in my options you want to control is it separate uh, separate hatches or not that's an on off so when blue is it when it's on gray is off so typically by default we have them off so there there is one hatch pattern and we always always want associative boundaries on all the time